Hi guys, it, it's Thomas. So I'm going to talk about some button glitches that a friend of mine, Jefferson, found for the game Hello Reach. So it's called Sprint Glitches because it actually uses the sprints, but you can also use the change of weapon. So this works in matchmaking, but it's quite difficult to do. So just FYI, a list with all the other layouts uh, is going to be displayed at the end of the video. Usually to reload after a grenade throw takes exactly 1.335 seconds. And now just by using a button glitch, uh, we can for instance reload and throw a grenade at the same time. Zooming after a grenade throw takes exactly the same time, so 1.335 seconds. Just using the sprints enables you to zoom whenever you want. On this video, Jefferson does it almost instantly. I think you now understand the interest of using button glitches. There, we throw a grenade and then do a melee attack. Left trigger, then sprint forward, then melee, and you can throw a grenade at the same time as you're giving a melee attack. But you have to do this glitch as fast as possible. So for the next glitch, if you try to do it as fast as you can, it's not gonna work. And I'm talking about throwing a grenade between two melee attacks. Watch out though, the glitch cancels the first melee if you do it too quickly. Don't launch the grenade before the first melee makes some damage. And that's good to know that sometimes it's better to do the glitches as fast as possible and sometimes it just doesn't work that way. So here, the glitch you'll see allows you to win 0.2 seconds. If you use the sprint a little too late, this will delay your ability to shoot. So it's up to you, you gotta judge if it's worth it or not. So if you don't have the ability to sprint, you can switch weapons twice and do it as fast as possible. But obviously you need to have two weapons on you. So just after the reload, you can hit the Y button twice as fast as you can and then it will enable you to zoom immediately. This glitch is well known for the MLG players. This also works with the sprint and is as useful as the Y and Y glitch. So it's up to you if you prefer to use the sprints or to change weapons to do the glitches. So a little advice, always keep a small amount of energy in your sprint gauge because that enables you to do the glitches whenever you want. If you're jumping then, you can't use the sprint glitch, but you can still use the change of weapon. So those are little things to know. So the glitches work with every weapon of the game. If you have the sword, I advise you to use the sprint instead of the Y and Y glitches. Um, it, it works in a different way with a shotgun though. With this weapon, you have to press the reload button twice as fast as you can. So do you remember the famous BXR glitch from Halo 2? So we can do that in Halo Reach, but Jefferson found something interesting. So when the enemy has lost his shield, then sprint forward, then go backward to shoot in his head. I know it's quite a tricky thing to do. We only win 0.1 second. So just be aware this one doesn't work with the change of weapon. And I am aware it's a quite difficult thing to do in matchmaking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So here is the list of the button glitches for all layouts I told you about. Uh, thanks to Jefferson for finding the button glitches, of course. Thanks to Sachiro for translating the tutorial. Special thanks to Walshi for uploading this video. It was Thomas and I hope to see you guys on Rich.